Peak oil is a theory that goes like this. The global production of oil will hit its peak and then start to decline. Now, it doesn't mean the world will run out of oil. What it means is that the world will run out of cheap oil. The idea has been around since the mid-50s. Back then, a Shell oil geologist named Marion King Hubbard predicted that U.S. oil production could hit its peak in the early 1970s. Well, remember that oil shock back in the 70s? It's nothing compared to what supporters of the peak oil concept think we're in for once the decline starts. Economic collapse, geopolitical conflict, and the end of your lifestyle as you know know it. Here's why. The U.S. consumes about a quarter of the world's oil production. It's used for everything from transporting food to manufacturing DVDs. But demand in China and India is increasing. I mean, they do account for one-third of the world's population. So if China's consumption rate holds, then by about 2030, it'll guzzle as much oil as the U.S. does today. Factor in the rest of the planet and their growth and their needs and what you've got is increasing demand and shrinking supply of a finite resource. And the price per barrel is getting higher. The record so far, about 58 bucks U.S. Both the IMF and the CIBC have warned of $100 barrels. One of the world's leading energy analysts says that could happen in the next three years. As for a date when we could hit peak oil, well, that's hotly debated and hard to determine. But depending on who you talk to, it could. In June 2004, just one day's worth of oil consumption would represent a line of barrels long enough to encircle the earth. With almost half used for fuel and the other half used for plastics and chemicals, oil is indispensable in every single aspect of our modern everyday lives. The world population has been able to increase over the course of one century from about one and a half billion to six and a half billion only because oil has allowed for more food to be grown and distributed than ever before. World food production is so dependent upon hydrocarbon energy. All commercial fertilizers are made out of natural gas, which produces ammonia. All pesticides are made out of oil. Uh, now with agribusiness, you drive an oil-powered machine to plow, you drive an oil-powered machine to plant, then you fertilize it with natural gas, then you irrigate it with water that's pumped by electric pumps that are, that, where the electricity comes from burning natural gas or oil in most cases, uh, then you spray it with oil pesticides, then you harvest it uh, with an oil-powered vehicle, and you the bottom line is that we eat 10 calories of hydrocarbon energy for every calorie of food consumed on the planet. All around the world, oil consumption is exploding. New gigantic markets, such as those in India and China, have opened up to modern consumerism and have driven the global need for oil through the roof. Satellite imaging applied to oil exploration has confirmed a stark reality. With increasing consumption and diminishing reserves, the world is rapidly running out of oil. At the current rate of production, the West will be first to hit the zero mark by 2010. At this point, both the United States and Europe will depend entirely on outside sources for their oil. Eastern Europe and the former Soviet Union, while self-sufficient today, are next and due to run out by 2013. With its exploding oil consumption, Asia will run dry in 2018. The reality, however, is that major conflicts are likely to erupt before any of these places.